seven yards. Little HP 22 Phoenix Arms uh, Saturday Night Special. Not too bad. That, that was that was rested, of course, not offhand. 15 yards. Not so good. Eh, you know, it's it's really not. This, this is about the maximum you want to uh, take take it out to 15 yards with with something that small. But and this is offhand, so it's not. Not terrible, I guess. Yep, it's not not a bad little pistol for what it is. I mean, it's uh, it's a cheap pot metal uh, Saturday Night Special, but it it's doing pretty good. I've really not had any problems with it. Just shoot the right ammo in it. The uh, standard velocity, so you either want. See if it focuses that stuff. Right there. Or, and this is also CCI. Um, or, you want this stuff. Why? Because it really, if you look on this for these mini mags, it doesn't say high velocity on here. That's because it really isn't. Um, the recommended for the for this little pistol is rated the rated uh, feet per second on it is uh, I think a thousand fifty and up to about uh, eleven fifty. But if you run twelve thirty five. You're only like 85 feet per second over that, so it's pretty close. So I don't really have a problem with running these mini mags. Some other mini mags, maybe because they, you know, like the hollow points, because they uh, um, they have a lot higher rating, uh, FPS feet per second rating. So. Uh, uh, and they do fall into, I think, uh, high velocity. So you kind of have to be careful if, you, if you're going to run mini mags in this, in this little Phoenix Arms because, in this little HP 22 because it's uh, supposed to be standard velocity. That's what I'm running in it. And yeah, I did disconnect the uh, the two safeties here on the uh, in the handle. Uh, polished the feed ramp, but I left these. The manual safety and the uh, firing pin block safety in. Uh, I just disconnected these two for the time being. I mean, I can always put them, put change it back, so it's no big deal. Um, the mags. The reason you saw the pistol locking open was because I, all I did was put a little screw in the follower. It's a little pan head screw, and it locks the slide back every time. That way, you don't worry about dry fire in this thing. I mean, it could because if you didn't have that on there, the uh, slide wouldn't lock back and and you'd be dry firing. So try not to dry fire it. So these these uh, little uh, slide stops on the, on the followers, mag followers help. And it doesn't lock it all the way back, but it locks it open enough to where you can't, where you, you know you're empty. And you just Pull the slide the rest of the way back and and use your uh, your slide catch. So um, it it works. It uh, works pretty good. And like I said, I've um, not really had any major problems with it. The only problem I had with it was uh, there was a little burr on the front of the uh, the frame here, right where the takedown it right in behind the takedown. And that little burr was rubbing on the on the very front of the slide here, so I just filed, took it down, sanded it, reblued it, and on both the, on both where the wear was occurring, and the, the rubbing, and yeah, it had caused the slide to lock up. So uh, once I removed it and fixed it, <clears throat> then uh, um, it's it's run pretty good. Uh, occasionally, I'll have a hiccup with it um, on picking up. I think. 
I've, I've, I've not quite got it broken in totally yet. Uh, as you can see, this is what I've got left to run in it to, to finish breaking it in. So I've got over 150 rounds in it right now, but I'm, I'm running some more through it. It, it. These mags need to loosen up quite a bit still. So and uh, and everything needs to smooth out. So, but it's it's running pretty good now. Um, I think it'll run better once I finish all this out. One thing I did forget to mention is when you uh, when you put the uh, screw in as a uh, slide stop on the follower, it does cut you down from ten rounds to nine. So that's something that. To think about as far as loading it it's not really a problem see if you can see that just push it in take another one like this see where the screw is just push it down push back of course it's going to give me problems there you go push down and it goes right in and you can just load it like you normally would I suck today. <laughs> this is a different day, so maybe hopefully I can shoot a little bit better today. <laughs> um, this uh, this was uh, is a typical of what this uh, Rough Rider shoots. Um, it didn't always shoot this way. This is not bad. This is uh, eight yards, and uh, and it's grouping pretty good now. Um, it, but it didn't always shoot this way. Uh, when I got it from the factory, I mean, it came from the factory, uh, brand new. And uh, what happened was the uh, the muzzle crown had a little was marred. So what I had to do was I had to uh, do a crown job on it. And there's different ways you can do it, several different ways. Um, some people take a, a, uh, a bolt head, a round bolt head that's small, and they put some uh, valve grinding compound on it and uh, put, chuck it in a drill bit and, and grind it down uh, so that it's even. So what you're trying to get is an even uh, crown. And then, uh, uh, but what I do did was I, I have a Dremel tool with a, uh, a little stone on it that uh, that works pretty good right on the crown like that. So I was able to just touch it a few times and take it down to so it's level, and then uh, finish it up with a little bit of fine grit sandpaper and and then reblue it. So uh, because before before this before with that with that little mar that it had it was uh just shooting like a shotgun pattern it wouldn't shoot a bullet group but now since the since uh, i've got it level the crown level and uh it's uh shooting pretty good um that's pretty much what it does now uh but this is rested of course this is rested um at uh eight yards so anyway i just wanted to uh cover that 